muchachos y muchachas, well, with everything going on right now, from the shiny objects in the sky, our infrastructure that feels to be attacked in a way, you know, our railroads being derailed and chemical spills every single day. It, it just seems more often than usual. You have to think like, this is definitely happening. The uh, chemical uh, ecological disasters, Ohio, you know, the all these things happening in, in various parts of our country. But then this news comes out today about Jeffrey and a former executive over at J.P. Morgan Chase, Jess Stalley. Some recent communication between the two has uh, been reported by Bloomberg. And I kind of wanted to go through that because, wow, there is something here and it definitely seems a bit damning. So with that being said, hold on to your butt, secure your wigs, stay right there. We're going to go through this. Really quick, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Natalie Sleeps by Biotrust. Guys, sometimes I have trouble sleeping. It's not that there's anything wrong. There's nothing that is extraneously troubling in my life. Sometimes I just have a hard time falling asleep. Well, there's wonderful supplements out there in which this one I would recommend. This is backed by seven researched ingredients in which will help you fall asleep. It includes L-theanine, melatonin, magnesium, lemon balm extract, chamomile extract, passion flower extract, and vitamin B6. The seven key ingredients will help you fall asleep at night. You can get it at natlysleeps.com. All right, let's take it back a bit. So at the very beginning of this year, something happened, and I didn't cover it, but it's relative to what we're going to cover with this new uh, Bloomberg article covering Jeffrey and Jess Staley, the former executive of J.P. Morgan Chase. At the beginning of this year, there is a pit bull lawyer, or they, she's known as like the pit bull lawyer, very aggressive. Her name is Janice George. She was let go at the very beginning of this year for uh, right after filing this lawsuit against J.P. Morgan Chase. Let's take a look at this. So we're just going to overview a few details just for you to understand what happened. U.S. Virgin Islands District Attorney fired days after suing J.P. Morgan Chase over Jeffrey Ties. I can't say this word because of reasons. Uh, this is coming from the uh, Independent. It says the U.S. Virgin Islands top prosecutor has lost her job days after filing a lawsuit accusing financial giant J.P. Morgan Chase of turning a blind eye to Jeffrey's multi-decade, uh, you know, ST wording operation. Attorney General Denise George filed a lawsuit in Manhattan last week. This was at the very beginning. So that would have been at the very end of last year. And then this happened at the very beginning of this year. So she had filed a lawsuit in Manhattan that week or the previous week, alleging that Wall Street giant provided and pulled the levers through, through which recruiters and victims of... Dang it, I said it. Offending were paid in the court filing, according to Bloomberg. On New Year's... Eve, Virgin Islands Governor Albert Bryan confirmed to several news outlets on the island that Miss Denise George had been removed from her role amid reports that he had been blindsided by the lawsuit. I relieved Denise George of her duties as an AG attorney general this weekend, Mr. Bryan said in a statement to the independent on Monday. I thank her for her service to the people of the territory uh, and during the past four years as attorney general and wish her the best in the future endeavors. The governor's spokesperson, Richard Malta Jr., told the Independent that he was not at liberty to discuss the details in personal matters. The attorney general's office did not immediately reply for requests to the comment to the Independent. Okay. So she was a very aggressive attorney. Very aggressive attorney. And she was, she was getting some stuff done. She was getting work done in this, in this regard. And very coincidental timing. I mean, very coincidental timing. She was let go. Okay. Not saying that there's anything nefarious going on. However, things are just too coincidental. So that happened at the very beginning of this year. Now come today. This article was published. Ex-JP Morgan executives Jeffrey emails 
revealed in lawsuit against bank. Former J.P. Morgan Chase and Co. executive Jess Staley engaged in a discussion of Disney princesses with Jeffrey in July of 2010, according to several emails cited in a lawsuit filed against the bank by the U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, mm, coincidence, huh? So this attorney general finally is getting things done. She files this lawsuit against J.P. Morgan Chase. She gets let go. Oh, you know, we were th like, th what sorry, what a sorry excuse. Oh, we were blindsided by the lawsuit. What, like, so... If you had known that this lawsuit was uh, had aimed to file, would you stop it? You know? <sighs> anyway, okay. So this is what uh, the message continues to say. That was fun, Jess Staley allegedly wrote. Say hi to Snow White. What character would you like next? Jeffrey allegedly responded. Beauty and the Beast. According to USVI, the exchange was referring to young women and girls that Jeffrey was procuring. The territory unsealed the language Wednesday as part of a court filing aimed at bolstering its argument that J.P. Morgan, as Staley's employer at the time, is liable for facilitating Jeffrey's S.A., this word right here, S.A. And here's a whole the whole article. I will link this article in my, uh, my description below if you are interested in... Um, reading it for yourself. The new allegations follow amended complaint in a separate lawsuit against JP Morgan by Jeffrey victims claiming Staley personally observed his former client's misconduct. Staley, who is not a defendant in either lawsuit, has been consistently denied or consistently denied uh, knowledge of Jeffrey's SA. JP Morgan declined to comment on the USVI filing on Wednesday, which by the way, I believe, I believe that there was some very coincidental timing with Biden. I think the resident in chief, Biden, I believe he was at the USVI around the time that Denise got fired. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Does it not seem so? I mean, oh, this is not coordinated whatsoever, whatsoever. Hmm. So J.P. Morgan declined to comment on the USVI, U.S. Virgin Islands filing on Wednesday. The bank was moved to dis uh, they have moved to dismiss both lawsuits, claiming that the allegations concerning Staley are unsupported and that any knowledge on this part can't be inputted to the bank. J.P. Morgan has also argued it's not clear that the allegations about Staley concern uh, the, the Ninos or women under coercion. Sally, who left J.P. Morgan in 2013, had become chief executive officer of Barclays PLC two years later, was known to have exchanged upwards of 1,200 emails with Jeffrey over the years. 1,200 emails. 1,200. 1,200 emails with Jeffrey. Sally stepped down. As Barclay CEO in 2021, following a UK financial conduct authority probe into his ties with Jeffrey, according to the U.S. Virgin Islands, Epps, Jeffrey also <laughs> almost said it also occasionally emailed Staley photos of young mm -hmm, women. Now listen to this. In another email cited in the lawsuit, Staley appeared to write Jeffrey from the la uh, latter's villa in little. St. Island, that James, yes, in November 2009. At the time, Jeffrey was under home confinement in Palm Beach, Florida, following his release of charges of soliciting a minor for process. Um, you know what? P word, but was allowed to travel to New York to meet his lawyers. Presently, I'm in the, this is from Staley, I, I believe. I believe this is from Staley. Oh, yeah, this is Staley writing to Jeffrey. Presently, I'm in the hot tub with a glass of white wine. He wrote, this is an amazing place. Next time we're together, I owe you much. And I deeply appreciate our friendship. I have few so profound. Okay, so this sounds like they had a really close friendship. 
They were very friendly with each other. According to a December 2009 email, Stally got his desired reunion. I realized the danger of sending this email. Okay, Stally. Okay, Jess Stally. So you recognize, you recognize that this was not like <laughs> you were not in the right emailing Jeffrey. You, you, you knew. You, you knew something was up. I realized the danger in sending this email, Stally allegedly wrote, but it was great to be able to day to give you in New York City a long, heartfelt hug. Jeffrey was a customer of the bank between 1998 and 2013 and held about 55 accounts containing hundreds of millions of dollars. U.S. Virgin Islands says at least 20 individuals paid through J.P. Morgan accounts were victims of T-wording and S.A. in Little St. James, according to the lawsuit. Okay. Now, something else that is very interesting, hat tip to uh, Tan Grisner on Twitter, who brought this to my attention but take a look at this. Oh, is this not so interesting? Look at this. Look at this. The whole, the whole circle like of friends. GMHC 35th anniversary gala honors President Bill Clinton, Peter Staley, Jess Staley. By the way, Peter Staley, Jess Staley are brothers. Okay. Jess Staley is the, the former executive of J.P. Morgan Chase that we just overviewed the email exchange with him and Jeffrey. Peter Staley has his brother and his brother owns a foundation or several foundations that support like the charity of uh, HIV AIDS. Okay. So they were honoring, they were honoring these people. GMHC raises over $700,000 at 35th anniversary spring gala honoring President Bill Clinton, Peter Staley, and Jess Staley, all proceeds benefit services for thousands of New Yorkers living with and affected by HIV and ADS. AIDS. Okay. President, President Clinton was honored for his work through the Clinton Foundation, which for over a decade has worked to reduce the HIV, the HIV, transmissions, uh, provide treatment in 70 countries and make HIV AIDS medication available for over 11.5 million people through the Clinton Health Access Initiative. Chelsea Clinton attended the gala. She made remarks, accepted the award on her father's behalf. They raised over $700,000. Okay. Just thought that that was interesting. I wanted to bring that to your attention how all of this just kind of comes full circle. These people who run together, consistently run together. Okay, Bill Clinton, Peter Staley, Jess Staley. So Jess Staley, possibly, possibly, I don't know this for a fact, so I can't state this as a fact, but he possibly also was very close friends with Billy. But like I said, I don't know that. I'm just kind of drawing from context clues. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I thought I'd give you that quick rundown because this is, uh, it's, yeah, pretty breaking. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot to also include this, you know, the whole, the whole mention of Disney princesses, which is so sick. I mean, I think we all kind of infer the same thing that they're talking about, you know, the Ninos. How coincidental is it that there were pictures that were released of Jeffrey at Disney World with a Nina in his lap and then another Nina in his lap? Like, I guess they were on a private jet. He's wearing the same polo. I don't know if these, he wears the same polo day by day, but, and I don't know if this is the same day, but there's two different little girls. And one of which he's sitting at a table full of men with the little girl. Is this some sort of language that they had? I also know that there was like some sort of itinerary for a Disney cruise line going around to Little St. James. Isn't that interesting? All the common denominators here. Anyway, I just thought that I would leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me your thoughts in the comments below. Please share this video and also follow me on social media, uh, Instagram and Twitter. That's where I post my digs when I find them. I love you guys. Party time. Excellent. Jesus loves you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.